Anthony's been acting really hyper and crazy and going around her tank. And as you can see, sort of down there, I've got the uh, camera set up, Athene cam. So, uh, yeah, she's been doing that for sort of the past five days. And then she's been quiet for the past 24 hours or so. Um, so I'm just going to check in and see what's going on. I think I've got an idea, but we'll see. gosh there's quite a few eggs there right okay I guess that's what was happening so we'll just get her out and make sure she's okay and yes there we have it there's Athene and she's got a bunch of eggs and um, she looks like she's going into blue again so this will be post lay shed um, but yeah let's have a look at you my little bean there we go so she seems to be okay and I imagine she's got the rest of the eggs out but I'll literally have to get her out and check her over. I've left her in there for a few hours as well just to make sure she's finished laying but they do look all like slugs to me so uh, yeah I'll just get her out and check her over. So I'm going to give her a real quick check over. Um, as you can see she is in blue um, I've just quickly sort of done a check on her back end just to make sure there's nothing there so yet yeah, again it's just sort of feeling down the body and stuff I just hope she's not going to try and strike me because I'm only trying to help her and I know she doesn't know that but so what I'm gonna do is just check Oh, she keeps coiling around. I can't feel anything and I can't see anything else on her. Um, there's nothing near her vent area um, that I can see. Yeah, I mean, I can't see anything sort of bump wise or, you know, she looks completely flat underneath. As I say, I'm just feeling along here to see if there's any eggs that are stuck, but. I don't think there's anything, um, I can't see anything um, on her vent and I'll see if I can show you, if she'll let me, there we go, so that is her vent right there and as you can see there's not anything, it might be a bit swollen because she's laid eggs but um, oh, I'm just going to leave her there. <laughs> seems happy crawling around um, or slithering around should I say so yeah so you know we've got these eggs in here so I'm just gonna get rid of those clean that out um, and yeah and then just put her back in and just let her rest for a few days I was gonna clean her out but I don't really know what to do to be honest half of me is sort of thinking maybe as I've got her out I could just put her put a hide in this plastic box behind me I use this plastic box for everything and um, just put her in that let her get cozy just clean her out so she's got a nice comfortable vivarium to go back into and then I'll just let her rest and chill out um, and then I will give her mouse and fingers crossed chilly I think she will now so uh, but yeah, there we go, second clutch of the year. <laughs> so I always have these nappy sack things or, you know, I mean, you can get dog poop bags, but I always have these and I put my hand inside like this and then I will grab the eggs and uh, yeah, just chuck them in the bin because I really don't think she's not been with a the male. They all look like slugs. So yeah, I'm just going to get rid of them. Oh, that's nearly all of them in one go. So as you can see, they look a bit spotted and a bit dimply. That one really doesn't look good. But um, yeah, so actually I haven't counted them, have I? Okay, so we've got one, two. 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18 in there. So we've got 18. So yeah, so that's oh, sticking. Uh, yeah, so that's all the Thenies eggs now. Um, so I can't remember how many she laid last time to how many she's had this time, but I'll put the total of eggs that she's laid this year up on the screen for you to see. So yeah, I'm just going to bin those. I put the light on now so you can see better. That's obviously why she's laid her eggs. So what I'm going to use is this deep clean beefer disinfectant spray and I just give it a good spray in there so it's all nice and fresh. Um, and then I will wipe it with some of this uh, kitchen towel that I've got here. So I'm just going to get on with that. Okay, my little Athene, let's put you back in your tank. Come on then. I'm surprised you fit in that hide. <laughs> okay, let's get you out. So, let's get you back in there. Want a drink? No? Let's see whether Athene will take a mouse. <laughs> yep, yeah, she took that fairly quick. So I'm not going to like pester her too much or anything, you know, I'm not going to try and get the camera in there with her, but um, she has got that mouse, so I'm just going to leave her to eat. She must be really hungry. <laughs> Scales are set to zero and let's put Athene in. Four hundred and thirty-two. So she was at four hundred and eighty-eight and now she's at four hundred and thirty-two. Okay, little bean, should we get you out? It's been a week since Athene laid her eggs, her second clutch of the year, and I've just weighed her and she has actually lost, um, what was it again, uh, 54, yeah, so she's lost 54 grams and I did weigh the eggs, I didn't film it, I weighed the eggs and they weighed 64, but um, according to the scales she's lost uh, 54 grams. I have actually fed her twice, so I gave her a small mouse and then the other day I gave her a large mouse. I didn't film that because she was in blue um, and she was being quite secretive with her food so I just gave her a large mouse and she, uh, yeah, she had that and um, I'm not sure if she's pooped yet, I can't smell anything in her tank but um, yeah, so I fed her on Wednesday and it's now uh, Saturday so she, if she hasn't pooped already she's due to so um, yeah, so she has lost quite a bit of weight and even when I lifted up her hide to look in she, I could tell that she looks really skinny so I will be feeding her a large mouse once a week um, what are we in August? Literally, probably, I'm just trying to work it out because it's quite a lot of weight she's lost now. So um, I will be feeding her, I reckon all the way up to the end of September, uh, large mice. So that'll be the next six weeks or so. Um, and then I'll put her back on mediums, maybe once a week into October. And then I'll give her a mouse, a medium mouse every two weeks like the others. So um, yeah. 
so it's um i wasn't expecting that second clutch so as i say when i weighed her in july she weighed 488 and she had already lost some weight like i said in that video but you know she's lost 54 grams she's lost even more weight from having that second clutch of eggs and i was not expecting that at all um from athene i thought she'd be like apollonia and just have the one clutch but i have heard that it can be a genetic thing so genetic wise Athene's probably been passed down that gene where the mother lays two clutches of eggs a year. That can be a genetic thing. So I expect her mother, um, you know, laid two clutches of eggs every year. So uh, she'll probably be the same, whereas Apollonia's mum probably just laid once a year. Um, and that's why Apollonia just lays once a year, so she'll do the same. But yeah, so sorry, I'm getting all garbled here. But um, yeah, she's doing all right. Um, she's still alert and active and stuff, but she just needs to put on weight. So it was a bit of a shock, as I say, when she went off her food and she was being like super hyper and just crazy and everywhere. And I thought this reminds me of when she had lots of eggs in her and she was looking for a mate and all the rest of it. And I just thought this can't be happening again but she does have um obviously she has Cadassius and Asclepian next door to her so um, my friend Amanda said that it could be that she's smelling the males and that and it set her off into you know wanting to sort of get into the breeding season thing again but um they're out by the way my males are out of breeding season my two corn snake boys so um so yeah they they weren't bothered anyway but she's uh, as i say she was all hyper and crazy and then went really quiet and laid her eggs in the as you saw the hide with the hole in the top the rock hide from swell reptiles so um yeah she's doing all right and i'm not going to have her out for too long i don't want to make this video too long either but um yeah that's where we're at with athene so she is now one of my lighter snakes so i will be feeding her up and making sure she's got fresh water so as you can see athene shed her skin as well so this is her post lay shed um, and she shed this, um, I think yesterday. So uh, yeah, that's her shed then. I forgot to mention it in the video, but yeah, it's looking good. So that's Athene and um, I'm kind of hoping that you've enjoyed this video and if you have then please like and subscribe and when you do subscribe please hit that bell notification and click all so you get notifications of all my latest videos and if you've got any comments or questions or anything like that then just pop them in the comment section below and I'll do my best to answer but for now from myself and little Athene it is goodbye and we'll see you in my next video. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see if she'll say goodbye. Hey, bye. <laughs> She's probably like, Mummy, put me away. <laughs>